my name is Melody and welcome back to Strawberry Lemon. So today's video is going to be my first collab with one of my, I guess, IRL friends that isn't on booktube or bookstagram or anything like that. And yeah, so I am doing this with one of my best friends, Emily. She has been my friend since fourth grade, I think. So we've known each other for like a decade now. And yeah, a lot of my friends don't really read like fantasy and fiction books and stuff like that anymore. So if I have a channel and I can convince them to be on my channel, why wouldn't I? I am so excited for this and so happy that she was so down to do this. And yeah, I will let Emily introduce herself and the book that we are going to be reading. Ah! Hi, I'm Melody and welcome back to Strawberry Lemon. I'm just kidding. My name is Emily and I am in fact not Melody, although our names do rhyme. I'm one of Melody's best friends and I've known her for I think over 10 years. I've been invited to come on to her channel today and we are going to vlog and read a book together. And that book is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. It's a dystopian book about a world with no hunger, disease, or war. And humans have basically conquered death, which is a very interesting concept. I'm sure this is an ideal world that many people have considered or even wish for, but the life we live is real and these things happen. And I am very interested to see how the author explores these ideas and how the author creates a world from it. I have not read any reviews, but I have heard from Melody that this is a very popular book. So I hope it lives up to its popularity and I'll check in after I finish reading part one. Okay, so that was Emily and yeah, I was so excited for this. Obviously, since we're in the middle of a pandemic, I'm not going to meet up with her just for a video. It's not safe, but she is going to be vlogging her experience while reading this and we are going to have video calls to talk about the book and in the end, which I'm so excited about, is that we will have a tier ranking of a lot of the characters inside and yeah this is going to be a spoilery vlog i'm sorry i think this is probably going to be one of my last vlogs with just spoilers so please hang in there with me and yeah i will see everyone in the next video time is running out and i can stop this our love ain't fine and i'm burning there is no line if you are fine I finished reading part one. I think that the world that the author has created is very advanced. They figure out many ways to bypass natural death, but because of this, they have a big problem. How do they deal with overpopulation? And they decided to deal with it by having sight. And I think this raises a really big moral question of, is this right? Should humans have the ability to decide who gets killed? I'm interested in what the two protagonists decide to do. I think they don't want to become sites, but at the same time, they have their own motivations to become sites. So I'm going to continue reading. So I finished reading the next section of Scythe, and we've been introduced to a group of sites who killed together and they're giving me bad vibes because they seem to be enjoying killing way too much and they seem to be playing around with the people they kill. Another thing that I've been thinking about is why do these sites have to kill according to statistics from the mortality age, which is when people still used to die of natural causes. It seems to me that they're still looking towards the past to solve their problems in the future, which is the time they're in now. But they seem to be so advanced and everything, but they're still dealing with 
a lot of issues. Although it seems to be a perfect world, there's still a lot of things they're trying to figure out. Well, let's just keep continue reading to find out. Melody, are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm super ready. How are you liking it so far? Um, I think it's very interesting. Things are coming together. I know at the beginning, there, you know how the book is structured and they have like the diary entries from yeah. the side the journals. At the beginning, you're like, who the heck is H. S. Curry? And then. I yeah, I didn't figure yeah. out till today when I was like, yeah. <laughs> you read. <laughs> I read. You caught up. <laughs> but I caught up. I've been so bad. Mm. Wattpad, man. <laughs> but oh my gosh, the tea. The tea that we couldn't get to yesterday because it's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're exposing yourself right now. It's okay. But were you surprised when he died when Scythe What's his name? I don't know his name anymore. Cy Faraday. Yeah, Hi. Faraday. When Cy Faraday died. Surprise. I was so sad. I was like, what the heck? I wasn't. Like, yeah, like, I think Citra, Citra. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was like, I don't think he's the type of person that would do that. And like, yeah. what me too, I don't think he would do that. But then like the explanation that it would free them mm -hmm. from their apprenticeship. I was like, okay. I get that, but still. I think like, he was like murdered or something. Cause yesterday after I read some more, I was thinking while I was gonna sleep, I was like, I swear this man is gonna die. So I Faraday is gonna die like somewhere in this book or in the series, he's gonna end up dying. And then I woke up today and read the chapter and I was like, well, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Wow, you have six cents. <laughs> You're like, like he's totally gonna die. <laughs> I didn't think they would separate them though. Saitra and I don't know any of their names. Rowan! Rowan! <laughs> I don't know any of what their names. What is this? <laughs> You're reading too many things at once. <laughs> no, I'm just reading what <laughs> Yes. Saitra and Rowan. I didn't think they would separate them. Yeah, and what surprised me is that the 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 deal, the new rule is still on. Like I would think like after they're separated, they wouldn't have to like flee each other at the end. Yeah. There's still apparently the rule, which doesn't make sense because now they're not under the same site. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that are just like, huh? Sometimes in the book, mm -hmm. it gets a little cringy. The way that they set up the futuristic like plot, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, this arch, when they're going to the, what is it called again? The the gathering of the site. Mm -hmm. You remember what it's called? <laughs> you remember, remember. <laughs> oh, no. The Vernal Conclave. The Conclave, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're at the Mississippi River and they said there's an arch and there's that they said it was like destroyed by something called terrorist. <laughs> like something called terrorist. It just like seems like why did you have to put that in there? Oh. And then, like with when they were we were introduced to the tonus, like the people who are worshiping, like the tuning fork. Yeah. They're like drinking disease to just to show that they're like immune to mm -hmm. diseases. It just seemed like extra. I don't know. It was sort of cringy on my part. For but I don't me? Know oh, what? I don't know if it's necessary to like put, like make it seem like it's in the future, but mm -hmm. that's just how I felt with that. <laughs> For me, the cringy parts are like that setting up the romance <laughs> and like <laughs> really and then when they kissed i was like what is happening so fast. it was so fast and like i mean i guess they're 16 year old so it's like it's like i feel like it's supposed to be awkward but yeah. 
I don't know the setting up with the romance. I was like, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. If for too, for me, it seems like kind of forced. Like, how yeah, come every romance is like at the beginning they don't want to. They're like trying to resist or something like that. But then they're like, yeah, they have to fall in love and like. I feel like we haven't seen them interact enough to like actually be crushing on each other. Yeah. Oh, three. That's how it is. How do you feel about Scythe Goddard and his posse? Scythe Goddard is like creepy, but I don't know. He's such an interesting character. He basically just wants to like rule over the world and kill whoever he wants. That's what the vibes I'm getting. He reminds me of a Berlin from uh, Casa. Oh, Casa. from <laughs> <laughs> Money Heist? Yeah. Yeah. Like he he's like carrying out the mission of the group that he's in, but yeah. he has like a completely different mindset or view to it. So he's still doing his job, but like the way he looks at it is like kind of twisted in a way. I can see that. Oh. Now I'm just gonna imagine Berlin when I'm reading. This. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> You know, did you, do you have like a vivid image of like what they look like? Cause they're described as like having like bejeweled robes. And that is like, to me, like so extravagant. I'm just like, it looks kind of tacky in my mind. <laughs> like the rainbow robes that have bejeweled jewels all over them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just like feel like they're kind of lame. <laughs> the way they dress. Is this bad? <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Like it, when you when when we were introduced to Faraday, he had like an ivory robe. I'm just mm -hmm. like, wow, that's cool. And then I hear about like this emerald emerald green like bejeweled, bejeweled robe. robe. Oh, even Rowan when he was in the 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 limousine was limousine. No, it was like a it's a fancy car, and he was with Volta, I think, the one with the yellow robe. It was like, how do you feel about your robe looking like? P. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Rowan. I think Rowan is my favorite character. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Probably Rowan too. Mm. Yeah. Love Rowan. <laughs> I feel like it would have been between Scythe Faraday and Rowan. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen with Esme? I remember her what name. The heck? <laughs> like seriously, that's the most random thing ever. They're in a food court and they're just like, you, you are the chosen one. It's so <laughs> random. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Do you think Rowan will turn evil at some point? Mm, I don't think so. I feel like he, like I, I, they said like he was like the observant kind. Like he is very aware of how people are. But uh, yeah, in, in in the mansion scene, he was he's kind of enjoying. Yeah, <laughs> like, he was enjoying he, all the wealth and yeah. When he was being led away by the the massage girl. Yeah. <laughs> like wow. It was like her, Rowan. What about her, what is her name? He, Citra. He, Citra. <laughs> yeah, but then he's he, there are times where he's like, oh, and he snap out of it. But like yeah, he like remembers feel, after. Yeah. But. I think he can do that again. Like, I don't think that's a problem, but he, there'll be like issues where he does like... <laughs> questionable things. Yeah, very questionable. But I think he'll he'll be okay in the end. Yeah, he will. I don't know, I just don't know what's gonna happen in the end. I feel like they, they have to both get out of it to be like satisfying, but if it's gonna be realistic, one of them is gonna have to leave the other in the end. Mm. You know? I feel like they'll get away with it somehow. Yeah, I feel like to be satisfying, like you, the the protagonist always have to win. <laughs> Cause I think I feel like the like major problem is Scythe. I don't remember his name anymore. Goddard. The, yeah, the... it's Scythe Goddard and like his little posse. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think. The big problem is the system itself, the system. Mm, that's that's anyway. true. All dystopian books get at the system that's ruling everyone, not the individual people. That's true. That's the part. Yeah. Okay. If there's nothing else, we can end it here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, bye bye. So, um, I was uh, using my computer and then my Wi-Fi 
I shut down. Yeah. I think that's a sign from the universe to read my book. And I'm a little bit behind, but now it's the perfect time to read. I got my retainer on, so I'm like talking a little weird, but I hope that's fine. Let's get into it. Head to the rescue. <sighs> the scythe thumb is being really sketchy. There's a lot of collusion and bad things going on. And they're trying to dispose of Sytra. But the Thunderhead has come to the rescue. And it really goes to show, like, gets you thinking as to whether any organization led by humans is going to be free of collusion and evil. It seems that what this book is trying to say is that the Thunderhead, which is sort of an artificial mind who oversees everything, is making better decisions than the Scythum, which are ruled by humans. So, yeah things to think about. Wow, I am in shock about everything that has transpired in the last 100 pages. Whew, it's really late now. I think I'm going to try to sleep now. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I'll try. So, good night, everyone. Ready? Are you excited? I'm excited. So many things happen. So, thoughts on the plot? I have thoughts about Rowan. Rowan? <laughs> okay, yes. Give me your thoughts about Rowan. Oh, okay. You know, I had faith in him that he knows what to do. But I just feel like him as a person, just being with Goddard, he sort of no, he, he sort of went downhill. Like he, <laughs> I think, I mean, he ended, I wasn't, were you expecting him to kill Goddard? I thought he killed the monk, and I was like, no, Rowan, you can't come back from this. And then he killed Goddard, and I was like, what? Yeah, I didn't expect him to do that, but I feel like he did so, like, with such like intention i feel like that's like not like him like i feel like that's more like goddard like even though he killed goddard i feel like that shows like the effect goddard has on him like it changed and now he's like mm. kills he's a killing machine yeah he beheaded the dude i was like damn that Faraday would not approve but then okay so he's scythe Lucifer, I think. I'm assuming he's Scythe Lucifer. But then Faraday was the one who picked up Rowan after the Conclave or whatever, during the Conclave. So does that mean that Faraday does approve of what he's doing? Or did Rowan like run off on his own after Faraday picked him up? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a question for the next book, Thunder. <laughs> I don't know. I still like him though, Rowan. He seems cool. Scythe like Lucifer. I just feel sad for him. Having yeah. A person who can kill so heartlessly. <sighs> you know how we were talking about like the love in this before? How it's kind of like forced the romance. <laughs> and you're always bringing up the romance aspect. I'm just like, that's like, uh. <laughs> and then. And then, um, Rowan, before he thought he was gonna get killed, he was like, I love you. <laughs> that, that, I know, I was like, huh, at that point. I, I actually changed, I actually kind of liked that. Like, I wasn't, I was like, damn, it's kind of quick, but I didn't I, mind that part. I was like, is this a sincere I love you? Or is it like, you know how, like, a lot of times, like, it's like, like even if a friend does something for you, you're like, I love you, bro. Yeah, I love you, bro. You know, but like, I love 
you because they already have established like like some sort of relationship yeah i thought it was more like a it was like cute kind of thing because she didn't even like say it back she was just like you two now get out of here or something and yeah, i was like even weirder she had the ring with the blood she kissed it she was like, Ooh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that part was kind of weird. I was like, why is she kissing the ring? Uh, that, yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> so much satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> I would think about that. Did you read the final journal of Psych Anastasia? Like yeah. The, one, the last one, it's not her final journal, the <laughs> journal excerpt. Yeah. Um, the last sentence is, is if, and if ever Scythe Lucifer comes my way, I hope he'll see me as one of the good ones, the way he once did. And I read that and I'm like, the heck? Why? The so like, did Anastasia, Scythe Anastasia like turn bad or? or I hope not. Or does, does she know who Rowan is? Like he's Scythe Lucifer. But, but now it's different. Like, once did <laughs> the past tense? I think she knows that it's Scythe Lucifer is Rowan, but I feel like she's worried about herself becoming evil or kind of like immune to killing after being a Scythe for a long time. That's how I interpreted it. Yeah, the way she, like, the, the way the sentence is, it seems like definite. Like, like the way he once did, like he did before and now, not anymore. Cause did is like in the past, but it doesn't carry on to the present. Mm, I don't know. I have hope in Citra, faith in Citra. Citra, I thought we, we decided Citra. Citra, the... okay, Citra. Oh. Remember you're like, oh, Citra Terra Nova rolls off the tongue better. I'm like, okay, we'll go with that. But it could be Citra, I don't know. We'll go with Citra. I wonder which one it is. Citra, Citra. Citra. Cause it's citrus, right? Like, like the orange, like citrus. I mean, but yeah, but that's like the American way that we like pronounce citrus. Citrus. Do people say citrus? Wait, I don't even know how to pronounce citrus or citrus. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> Okay, we'll Cytra. stick with Citra. We'll stick with Citra. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and then, what else happened? I feel like that was the main, the juicy bit. Oh, when they were like, Rowan shot her mom even before they finished giving out the instructions. I was like, no, my heart. I feel so bad for him. But also, yeah, I was like, I don't know who they would have put in the chair before they revealed it because he didn't seem close to his family or anything. True, oh, but still his mother. Yeah, that's true. They're she's still the that. One. Yeah, they probably she's the one that's closest. So they probably did their research and his mom probably would have been the closest of his whole family. Because so. mm -hmm. he always felt like the lettuce. I heard lettuce and I keep thinking of um the cabbage man from Avatar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so amazing. I just remembered something that like struck me. It was when Scythe no it's not Scythe. Um <laughs> I'm like staring at the book and I just said Scythe. <laughs> I was like, no. Citra was on the train to Amazonia. Is that the name? Something like that, yeah. And the random side barge into her bathroom and luckily he was one of the good guys i'm just like what are the chances and all the sides are looking for her and the, the one side that's one of the good guys barges into the bathroom and and and, and says i'm here to help you <laughs> <laughs> i accepted that i like i thought that was fine but that's true the one because i think none of the ones that were hunting her knew what she looked like how did he know what she Yeah, was? how did he know though? <laughs> he her, like on a train, and he was like, I know who you are. That is true. <laughs> no, I just like, this is so un- Like, I don't think this is realistic. I didn't think about that. 
Oh, really? I, it just like sat with me weird because like I was like, oh my gosh, it's over for her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's gone. And then it was like, and it just seemed like too like perfectly placed that, that he was like, oh no. Oh no, I will help you. <laughs> Let's talk about how how Zytra came to Scytherius has just shot him. Like, literally no one told her that that was the killer. No, she, she knew. She The Thunderhead told her. No, the Thunderhead just told her a name and, and she the Thunderhead said, you'll know what to do with it. No one oh. told that, that Faraday was, that, yeah. that name was the killer of Faraday. She, and, and, like Madame Curry gave her like the the address and everything, but it never said anything about that address being the killer. But she just assumed that the killer was there. And Wait, no, not. no, no. See on page three thirty seven. Okay, three thirty seven. With the thunderhead, it says. So you can tell me who's responsible for what happened to Scythe Faraday, and. The Thunderhead said, "Yes, I can." Gerald Vandergan. Yeah, that's true. But like, it was—it just sounds like he, the Thunderhead just dropped the name. The Thunderhead never specifically said like this person is responsible. But it doesn't say kill. It just says responsible. Cause I, the Thunderhead knows that he's not dead. Yeah, but that's true. I mean. <laughs> They can heal. I don't think shooting someone is a big deal in that time as long as you're not killing them because of their nanites or whatever. So they probably were like, I'm just gonna incapacitate him. And you know, if it's the wrong person, flee! Oh my gosh. But that's true. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense because they're so, like, this person lives so far away into like, in Amazonia, like, do you even know about the sites in Mid America, wherever they are? Would they like go all the way to Mid America, hunt them down, make this whole scheme? It didn't make sense. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make sense. Yeah. Here's the tier ranking I made. Let me show you all the goods. So. At the really top, we have Stole My Heart, Fire. You really love this character, okay? Like, they're your favorite character in the book. Then we have, eh, they're pretty cool, I guess. Like, they're chill. Like, I don't love them, I don't hate them. But like, I, I'm not indifferent. I kind of like them. And then we have Meh, which is the I don't love them, I don't hate them. And then we're like, who is like who is this character i do not remember this character like what role did they play in this book and then we have Flea, which is like a run away from this character this character could not exist like yeah you do not like this character at all if we don't know a character can we like do some research. <laughs> yes, I guess so. Maybe I'll ask Melody. She'll be my research. <laughs> okay, let's do Tiger first. Oh my god. Do you cool. remember who Tiger is? Pool boy? Is he pool boy? No, he's not the pool boy. He's Rowan's best friend that what? likes pool boy. So I'm thinking of when you say pool boy, I'm thinking of like the mansion owner that turned into the pool boy. Yeah. But yeah. Tiger. No, he's just living life, you know. Yeah, I kind of forgot about him until he um popped up at the mansion party. Yeah, I'm between meh and like pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because of the I guess. Yeah. I'll say pretty cool, I guess. I pretty cool, I guess. I okay. Both with meh, you know? <laughs> not meh and not. Okay. Then, then, do you have a character you want to do? Oh, there's 15 characters here, by the way. I couldn't do all of the characters, but I did my best. And I try to match the colors with what color their robes are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lots of thought went into this. And then, like, the humans that are not in the Scythum, they just got pink. Rowan stole my heart from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel sad for him. Like, yeah. 
But I still love him. I agree with this. Oh, from the beginning, right? Yes. Okay. Let's do Ben. Who the heck is Ben? Ben. You don't remember Ben? Ben is um. Brother. Yeah, Citra's okay. brother. Oh, okay, okay, okay. oh, I stole my heart. Yeah, the little brother. I know, he's so cute. And then when, what's, I think when Scythe Curry came, was it Scythe Curry or Scythe Faraday? One of them came and they're like, I have a card of you. And I was like, he's so cute. Oh yeah. my god. The last scene with him, my heart. He was so, I'm so scared. Oh. <laughs> okay. Scythe Rand. This is the only female. Oh, the one, the emerald? Yeah, that's why it's green. Flee! Flee? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. They're kind of, they kind of really enjoy killing people. Yeah. Flee. Okay, it's like Chomsky too. Yeah. I'm sad some of these got cut off. It's okay. We can still see that. Okay, Scythe. Vota, he was. Um, uh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about him. Magic character. Like, yeah, he's so sad. Cause he didn't enjoy killing, which is what got me. But then he, I'm pretty sure he voluntarily joined Scythe Goddard's posse. You mean meh? Meh. Esme, the one character I remembered the name of from last time. Nothing. Yeah, she was just kind of there. There and used to blackmail. Not her I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. I would say and she's like meh. Yeah, I think she's meh too. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> she's meh. Meh. Then we have High Blade to Knock your jeans. Mm. I didn't really like him. I don't like him. I wish it was like when you say who, does that mean just like between men and flea or just really like. I yeah, it can be men and between men and flea too. Like you don't hate them, but you don't like them. So dislike them. In the dislike category. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, do you remember who he is? Scythe Pozuelo. Hopefully who is that? <laughs> What? What? Okay, you might not remember his name, but he- Oh yeah, we talked about him. He's the one that was on the train <laughs> that saved Citra. Citra. I just think you, like, yeah, it's the Amazonian Scythe. Yeah, like, the Amazonian Scythe. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I like him more than you do. I, th I would put him pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think he's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and what happened was just like... So it was the scenario, not the man. Yeah, the scenario. Okay. Like, I, have him. I just like the scenario. I'm just like, I know who you are. <laughs> First, the bathroom that was unlocked. Like, that was in real life. That'd be creepy. What if she was like still like on the toilet? Stop it! Oh my god, have you ever been like in public restrooms and then, I don't know, I feel like in schools, some like the locks don't actually lock, so then when somebody pushes the door, it still ends up opening, even though you locked it. That happens. Yeah, I hate when that happens, it's so awkward, okay. Rhonda! Who's Rhonda? Do you know who Rhonda is? <laughs> who is Rhonda? I'm assuming she's automatically going the who question. But is it Esme's mother? No, Rhonda is the girl that Saitra pushed in front of the truck. Oh my gosh. Put her who? Who? <laughs> First thing, who? Who's Rhonda? Yeah, she wasn't very memorable. Okay, Scythe Faraday. Oh man. Oh, my heart too. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Oh, I hope he doesn't die, cause you know how it's like, I feel like he's gonna die in this series. Technically he's not dead yet, so I really hope he doesn't end up dying still. Saitra, I don't know, I feel like she she had to grow on me. But I liked, I don't know if it's cause Rowan was, he was in a more interesting situation that I liked Rowan more. Please have the image of her. Like, I, I have like a lot of imagery when I read it. It's like a movie. <laughs> like the, the ring, she's just like, whoa. 
Is that good? That did not steal my heart. <laughs> it did steal my heart, but I like kind of liked her a little bit more because it's kind of like interesting. No, I liked her when she punched Rowan. I was like, this is for snapping my neck. And then she's so smart. I feel like we should just put her still my heart because like we respect her. Yeah. Not necessarily like stole my heart like, oh, fangirl, but like I, re I respect her very highly. Yeah. And then Scythe Goddard. Oh my gosh. Please! <laughs> Immediate. <laughs> and he'll kill you, man. <laughs> he would. Or he would randomly grant you immunity. Yeah, one of the two, but yeah. those odds are in your favor. 50-50 chance. 50-50 <laughs> flip of a coin. Let's do Scythe Curry first. Oh. I think she stole my heart. I really like her. On the ground, no! Okay, that was off. Did you think that was awkward? I thought that part was awkward. <laughs> I had it in mind. <laughs> but I think she stole, especially when she shot the two cars and they blew up. I was like, she's so cool. Yeah, stole my heart. And then, of course, we have the Thunderhead. Yeah, I don't know too much about Thunderhead yet. Like, I feel there's so much more to uncover. I guess I'm putting it pretty cool because, like, I still don't. I need to know a lot more about Thunderhead before to steal my heart. Okay, that's true. I'm gonna end this part now. Okay. Sounds good. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi, what's up? <laughs> I can't. Serious. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what can I do?